Hey everybody, this is Dave Bursu. Join me this summer. I'm going to be driving across the country pursuing my two favorite things. The two things I'm most passionate about. Baseball and comedy. I'm going to be going to ballparks all around the country and performing at clubs all around the country. And the cool thing is this. I'm going to be doing it with other comedians and I'm looking for the best fans too. I want to talk to you guys and find out what your passion is. Find out why you love the game. So join me this summer. Look for us to come to a city near you. I was in Las Vegas the other day and a buddy of mine was at the Stratosphere and I was at the Excalibur and I yes. went down to meet him and uh, I took, a, I took, a, I took a, a cab down there, it was oh. 25 bucks. And I'm like, F that, I'm not paying for that cab back. And I walked the four miles oh, and by the know. end, and <laughs> I'm like this, I had the best looking yeah. hooker, street walker, whatever you want to call her, approach me and she's like, hey, you want to do something? I'm like, yeah, you can carry me. And I'm on my way to St. Louis right now. Gonna go see the Cardinals play tonight. Can't wait to see that. Um, my uncle was on the 67 Cardinals, got a World Series ring, so I'm sure I'm gonna be talking to some old timers and they're gonna have some stories about that, so it's gonna be cool. I love this, man. Anytime you have a caution sign, basically, that says, there's not, not construction ahead, barbecue today. It's awesome. We're gonna go in and check it out right now. Sugar Fire Smokehouse. I am not gonna lose any weight on this trip. I thought I was going to, but I keep looking at these menus. Yesterday, the last two days, I was at the barbecue place. I was in Las Vegas a couple days ago, and we had barbecue at um, Rick's Rollin' Smoke Barbecue, and it's the Rick from Pawn Stars, because, and we were doing a comedy show there, so they had a deal, 40 bucks, all you could eat. It's, I went to town. Oh, this is, I love how they do this. That's looking good. Thank you so much. All right, we're all good. How you doing? I am doing, I'm gonna be doing phenomenal here in a couple minutes. No, that's just, are you kidding? I was at Arthur Bryant's yesterday. I ordered two pounds of meat and then went to a ball game and, and uh, doing the same thing today. I mean, it's just, that's how you look like this. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome, and the brisket is killer too. Look at these ribs, man. Look at that smoke in there. I'll tell you what, though, the side, the jambalaya. Kansas City versus St. Louis for the best barbecue. And the winner is. I ain't saying nothing. Hey, man. Dave Rasu, we just came out of Sugar Fire. Absolutely smoking hot barbecue. It was so good, and the people in there are so cool. We were telling them that we're filming a documentary and they went, you know what? Go ahead and take a t-shirt. Food is great in there. I met people from all over the United States. Great, great food. We're gonna go over and uh, check out more of the city then we'll see you over at the game, man. Let's go. the Fox Sports Pavilion across the street from the stadium. Look at this. I cannot believe how big this is. You got people all over the place. This is packed. This ballpark, I thought KC was good yesterday for a downtown ballpark. This is phenomenal. Dee and I went to high school together, went to junior high school and high school together. She's out here now, huge fan, all right? We Go Cards! First time I've seen you in 37 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She and I used to play baseball together in junior high school. I was the pitcher in junior high school, and what I was known for was throwing knuckleball. We were doing warm-ups, okay? We, you know, we're doing the pregame warm-ups. We're down the right field line. I'm on the line, you're out towards the field, and you threw this one and it, it, it never knuckled, it didn't do anything. It stayed perfectly flat, it was just boom. And it came in and we both stopped and we were both like, 
whoa, did you see that? You know, and it was just amazing. And, and, and yeah, it didn't, it just, it was just straight. So it's, it's a, that's a different, that's, that's a whole different deal there. I'll tell you what, you, you moved to St. Louis and, and it's almost impossible not to become a Cardinals fan. Except for my third oldest son, who's a Cubbies fan, oh, just cuz. Wow. But see, here's the thing about the Cubbies and the Cards. There's a big rivalry there. Right. But it's a friendly rivalry. So it's it's a good rivalry in a sense. It's fun. It's Have you, you know, read LaRusse's book, yeah. Three Days in August? No. Oh, it's phenomenal. But it talks about the rivalry. There, there was a town that uh, LaRusse talks about in the book that was located directly halfway between St. Louis and um, Chicago. Yeah. So the lower half of the town got all the radio broadcasts from St. Louis, right, yeah, the upper yeah. half got it from Chicago, and the city was split, Chicago and St. Louis fans, because it's what they picked up on the radio. When the Cubs come to town, is how, how packed is it? It's packed, packed to the gills. So, so they come down in droves. Oh yeah, well they try, see the thing is, I mean, the, the, the stadium doesn't look very full right now, it'll fill up in the next couple of innings. The first couple of innings, but they did darn near sell out this place every game. Did you go to Old Bush Stadium? Yes. This stadium overlaps where Old Bush used to be. In fact, my son was in pitch, hit, and run. Remember the Little League? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, he actually won pitch, hit, and run for the sections, got to compete at the Old Bush. Really? About a year before they tore it down. Yeah. And that over there is called Ballpark Village. Right. They've got the rooftop and everything. Oh so. my God, check that out. You can do just like the Cubs, and it's like watching rooftop. That's amazing. Yeah, you're not across the street, you're actually closer. Right. So, yeah. What is the ballpark known for? You know, like San Francisco has got the garlic fries, okay? Right. Dodger Stadium at Dodger Dog. Fenway Here Fred. it's the Hunter Hot Dog. It's the hot, official hot dog of the St. Louis Cardinals. What's that? The Hunter Hot Dog. The Hunter Hot Dog. Yeah, that's brand, what I get, brand huh? name. Yeah, gotta get a Hunter Hot Dog. What about, what's what's the most amazing thing you saw happen at the ballpark? Like I saw, I saw Mattis get his three. You know what, it was actually the last game I was here at, Wainwright hit a, hit a grand slam, he hit a rope. Nice. Out in the center, in the left field, it was amazing. He hit a rope. Two. Have you, did you pull any shenanigans in any games when you were young? Uh, I, I was a pretty straight shooter, I'd do anything like that. I mean, probably the most daring thing I did was wore a Dodgers hat, a candlestick. But why would you do that? Because I was actually a Dodgers fan. I liked the A's and the Dodgers at the time. Did you get a lot of beef that day? Oh yeah, I mean <laughs> death threats. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You can people can wear Cubs stuff here, and and you're you're not at risk of being mugged. I physically moved here, and I became a Cardinals fan. I became a believer, and, and that's what happens. You move to the St. Louis area. You can't you can't hardly help it. When you go around and talk to people, you're going to see what I mean. This is a gorgeous ballpark, man, I gotta it say. It is. Uh, you guys are lucky. They just put the arts back in the field this weekend. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's cool. A few years ago, after Stan Musial passed away, they put the six in the outfield. Nice. Which was a uh, really nice tribute. That's awesome. So how long have you been a Cardinals fan? Uh, probably about 20 years now. Okay. Almost my whole life. So are you from here? Uh, I grew up in Wisconsin, but I think my parents took me to a Brewers game. They were playing the Cardinals as a young kid. What's more attractive? Nice. Oh. oh. Well, run scores. Oh, no way. Oh, that was a big base. That, that was that was that was a defensive blunder, big time. That's ridiculous. Your second base, but dude, that's your coverage, man. statue we're out in front of the game we can't get any trouble for this because we know for fact that we're not talking to any fans they can't make issue with that they said that's not the problem said we can't talk to fans and we can't um, can't talk to fans and we can't uh, obstruct the game so we got kicked out of the game we're not doing anything but there's a piece of stand the man or a statue of stand the man you know um, other than that, you know, this was a nice stadium. We ran into one guy that just he had to make some brownie points or whatever. But I think it's the old, I think this old guy got his first Woody since like 1967 by getting us kicked out of the stadium because he was all excited about it. Um, 
Oh look, they're coming to get me now. <laughs> I don't know, it's not the first time I've been kicked out of a ball game, but it is the furthest away from home that I've been kicked out of a ball game. So there, setting a new record every time. You gotta find the lemon or the lemonade out of the lemons, right? All right, we're good. It's Field of Dreams, man. If you build it, people will come. And I'm here. I'm at the Field of Dreams field in Iowa. And they've got kids playing on the field right now. This is so cool. They let you come out here. You can you come on for free. There's the stands over there, first base. Absolutely incredible, man. This is the coolest experience being out here. And there's all these dads out there with their sons, and they're playing ball, and they're imparting, you know, their love for baseball onto their kids. It's totally awesome. So now, I'm walking out into the outfield. I'm walking out into the corn. And we're gonna see what happens. It's not very high. I'm not thinking I'm gonna disappear. I think if you were three, you might disappear. But other than that, but here we are. The cornfields of Iowa. This is where the guys walked out. This is where the eight Chicago Black Sox, Shoeless Joe, in the movie, walked out right here. What's your name? Uh, Dave Bradley. Dave, I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm here with my nine-year-old son. This is your son up right now? Yep. Oh, nice hit. I got that on video. Right, Fred. <laughs> he had a great time pitching and running and hitting and doing all the stuff. What a great father-son thing to do. Yeah, it's so fun. This is what makes baseball great, okay? This is why I love baseball. Because it's something you can share generationally. It's something that just, God, you've always got that to talk about. I just wanna, I just wanna thank you guys for joining in and touching in. Uh, we got Touch Em All Comedy and Baseball. And we are, we're at Field of Dreams, man. You guys have a great day. I'll catch you later.